Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing an 18 plus reading all about your next person coming in. So this is going to be for those of you who are single, who are just feeling a bit discouraged about um, relationships and things like that. There could be friendships that are included in this reading as well. This is just for those of you who are wanting to have a serious connection with somebody, you're not sure when it's coming in, get you some advice, see who is coming in for you. And yeah, let's see what's going on. So please choose your group. We have a group number one, group number two, group number three, and group number four. We have a group number one with a companion, group number two with the innovator, group number three with a liberator, and group number four with the creator. So please choose your group. Let's get started. Start with group number one with the companion. Hello, group number one. Let's get started with your reading. So <clears throat> let's have a look and see. <clears throat> <clears throat> wow, throat chakra, honey. I haven't used my throat chakra a lot today, so that is probably why that's coming in. All right, so we have the companion. This is I Feel Your Energy. So we're going to get another one of these uh, cards. These are called the Oracle of the Roses. So you have the uh, companion. Let's see what's what. Uh, actually, I feel like this is the, the relationship. Hmm. Okay, let's pull some cards and we'll see what comes out. Mm, okay. Hmm. Let's get one more. Ooh, okay. So this is going to be <laughs> not the most organized reading. So, all right. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So I'm always trying to be organized with my uh, readings, but this is just a little bit complicated. So we'll just kind of kind of pan out a little bit. Nice, okay, right. What they're showing me is, normally this underneath, with this deck, normally this underneath is the relationship. This is actually the future, okay? This is the past, nice. Okay, so this is the relationship that's forming. Basically, both of you are going through such a massive change in your life. You both are, I'm feeling quite young or at least a young soul. So I feel like you're either young in age or you're a young soul. Um, young in age being between, like, I don't know, 16 and 30, you know. So that's kind of how I feel. I'm picking up early 20s or like 20s. So possibly that could be just an extra clarification for some of you guys. So I feel like what you guys are going through right now, I feel like I want to kind of look into the present energy. What I feel like both of you are going through right now is change. That is like the main thing that both of you are really, really working on. You guys are changing very, very deeply. And that is why you both haven't actually manifested each other yet. That's literally the reason why you're single. And by the way, being single isn't a bad thing. I always just title readings as single because if you are single, that's just a title. That's just what it is. You know, that's just your... Um, that is just your, your title, but it's not your whole being, you know, but as you know, for titling this video, yes, you are single, you know, and you know, if you watch my videos, you know, I don't care, single relationship, whatever, it's just a status. Anyway, just want to say that. So you guys are big, fat lovers. Like you are such big, like your energy is very loving. Um, it's very much about romance and connection. You could have very strong Libra, very strong Pisces, very strong Cancerian Aries. Like you really love romance. You've always kind of connected with very kind of old age kind of uh, stories. So like very romantic, um, very much kind of old Victorian age. So kind of like these 18 plus cards where they're kind of like very mystical and I don't know what this like era is but this kind of era where they're on horses and they're having sex in the woods and things like that you know like Bridgerton <laughs> you love that kind of shit so you might not love it but for some of you guys you really do love it what I'm feeling is the energy I'm getting from you guys is your energy is starting to get much more magnetic so at the moment it does feel a bit like up and down what I'm basically feeling is you are going to get into a relationship but it's not going to be the way you expect it to be. And a lot of people, I know they say that, but trust me, that's literally what I'm feeling. The energy of this person is you either get with them or you don't. They are like black or white. You know, they are literally, that's how they think is in black and white. It's kind of like you either want me or you don't. 
that's the energy. So when you meet this person, it's going to be like, that's my partner. I know that my partner, that's going to be my partner. You keep, um, it's actually quite interesting because you would have gone through quite a long story of uh, relationships and connections and just a lot of stories in your head about who you think you are and who you think that you are to other people and things like that. So what I see is this person is an old soul and a young body, very similar to you, but I do sense that you're young in age or the energy of the relationship is young. Something about this reading is young. It's very open-ended. I told you this reading is going to be a bit more complicated than any other group. It's very like all over the place because I think for a lot of you guys, where you're changing so much, there's just lots of there's just yeah there's a lot of changes okay so we have the nine of diamonds so this basically is the past this relates to this this is like i've no idea where i'm going um the people around me don't resonate with me i don't resonate with them and it's just a bunch of i hear a bunch of bullshit like some of you guys are just really uncomfortable in your connections um and you're really trying to focus on your own heart and your own needs which is a big deal you know it takes time and it will take time because that's what life is about unfortunately <laughs> at this present moment it's about figuring out who the fuck we are <laughs> um that's literally what life is about so 48 could be a timing or an age and you guys could be 48 so i do feel like i'm hearing um, early years so early in the year so like january to april is a really good time to meet this person um yes i do see being in a relationship no you won't be around somebody you don't enjoy so what i'm seeing is you're not going to be in between relationships it's not going to be a situation ship it's going to be relationship or nothing so if you're not ready for this relationship it won't come in or you'll see where your limitations are and you won't be around this person you'll basically see wow i really find this person hot but it'll kind of like crumble and kind of um yeah it will kind of just dissipate after a while um until you're ready to actually manifest this person whether it be a different person or the same person but at a different timing hope that makes sense so with the companion and the mystic this is literally about your life this isn't just about your person this is about you you've always wanted to be somebody who is really acknowledged for your wisdom and your time and your your well, what you acknowledge it's kind of like so when it comes to your energy, you really put a lot of effort into other people and you want to get that back, which is natural. You know, that's what we deserve. So what I feel for you is this person, if you start embracing your mysticism or when you actually start to embrace your mysticism, this is going to be the person, the person's going to come in. So what I see is you're being... Okay, I heard this actually as a message a couple of days ago. I actually didn't know what it meant. So it, I just heard a drop in the ocean. And I know that's kind of like a phrase of like, you know, a needle and haystack kind of vibe. What I'm seeing is your relationship is like a drop in the ocean. You don't know where it is <laughs> in the ocean. If you come across it, that you feel very much like it's divinely timed. Yes, that's pretty much what the relationship is. So I hope this is making sense. I feel like this is such a complicated reading, this one, but just bear with me. So with the mystic, let's see what's underneath her. Oh, interesting. Okay, so I feel like this person is definitely seeing you for who you are. You're not going to have to change. Right, so what I feel like is the main message for this group is to manifest your person. The best advice I can give you at this point in the reading is, or maybe the whole entire reading, is you need to start showing up for yourself and embracing who you are. And what this means is, where do you feel like you're shrinking yourself? Where do you feel like you're hiding your personality? Where do you feel like you're hiding your... The main thing I'm feeling is like your hobbies and your style of who you are. Um, your being, your hobbies, your... Did I say hobbies already? Your work. It's like there's something and, and there's something in somebody who you want to be, like your personality has basically been hidden for a very, very, very long time because you felt like you had to change for other people. And that's actually so far from the truth. That's something that you created from possibly from trauma or from childhood where you were taught that your needs are not important. Hence why you feel so uncomfortable putting your needs in relationships now best thing for you to do also is look at the relationship you have with a parent so depending on what gender you want you might want both so look at both um or even look at the relationship between each of the each of the parents that you had or the connection you had with the caregivers that you had 
whoever you had around you growing up, the main two caregivers, look at the relationship you have with them. Say though, if you do want a male, look at the relationship you have with your dad. What, what was and what wasn't given to you in childhood? What was there and what wasn't? How did he act with you? What did you get from the connection? If it was nothing, well, then you may not know that you actually deserve something. If, say if it's a female and you want to, this a mother figure and you want to attract a female, you know, you want to look at the mother figure. You want to look at how does she act around you? Was she emotional? Was she anxious? Was she codependent? And that will be how you are with your next partner. So you want to have a look at that because what that's going to do is it's going to clear the way of any trauma that's kind of in the way of you manifesting your person. And what I'm feeling is I'm hearing this person actually knows who you are. If it's not physical, which I don't feel like it is, it's very, very spiritual. Like I'm hearing, like as I was just talking, I saw a person pop into my energy and they're looking at me and they're like, I know who you are. Like it's such a cute feeling. It's kind of like when you watch a film or you read a book and you just resonate so much of it. It's kind of like when I watch Stranger Things. Oh, I can't even explain how much I love that show. It just hits my entire being and my soul. So... There's something about this this relationship that will literally, it will change your life. And I don't want to be dramatic because honestly, I don't want, I want to be practical about this reading. It will change your life, but it will show you how much you've grown, but also where you need to grow. Okay. Which is pretty much all relationships. Okay. So can we see anything else about what's coming towards you? Disconnecting from... Um, masculines that are just toxic as fuck um father figures even your relationship with your masculine so say your you know your masculine side if it's quite a, you know we can have a toxic relationship with ourselves if we talk really badly about ourselves or we um you know basically shit on ourselves on the daily or you know we don't treat ourselves with a lot of love that can be a toxic relationship so if you have been in toxic relationships or you've been abused then you tend to abuse yourself so you want to look at where do I keep avoiding intimacy in my life? Okay, so I feel like, um, okay, I'm just gonna be really blunt. This is like a really specific message. Some of you guys are scared of becoming like your mum or your dad, um, or you're, you're scared of becoming like the relationship they had. So say if you've had a lot of abuse, or say um, you're growing up, when you're growing up, your parents, they argued a lot, or one of them left, or there was possibly, I'm gonna say quickly, domestic abuse, sexual abuse, any sort of intense abuse you're scared of becoming like that person that created that you will not create that if you are willing to work with it and look at what actually went on and really go there i would say any emotional support you can get is fucking amazing and it will help you to get more comfortable in your body so you can start this new journey and i really feel like it's actually not going to be very long until you are going to start to meet new people because what i see is your energy is changing so drastically you're just aligning yourself that's what i'm hearing if i could title this this certain reading this group number one you are just aligning yourself that is literally as simple as it gets so you might feel like everything is crashing down but actually it's not what it is is rebuilding itself. And eight is an uncomfortable number. She is like, I'm not ready yet, but also we're transforming, but also I don't know who I am. It's like, I'd say another couple of months until you start to feel a bit more comfortable in your body. So I'm sorry if you are going through a hard time, but girl, honestly, it's worth this energy. I really want to pull one of these cards. I'm kind of resistant to it. I don't know why, but we're going to pull one anyway. Okay. Yeah, this is to do with the mystic. This is about you embracing your spiritual side. And this is about you. Ah, some of you have been with related, some of you have been with partners who don't um, let you express this side of you. Uh, religious, spiritual. I feel like it's more spiritual. I feel like it's more of an open ended thing. It's not really a religious thing. It could be religion if it's kind of like a, I'm going to say it very bluntly, a balanced religion. Because sometimes if we're in religion, we get too wrapped up in it. We're to the point we use it as an excuse. That's not what I'm feeling. It's kind of like an authentic, okay, authentic connection to spirit. Let's just keep it open-ended. <laughs> oh my God, I love this. Okay, so um, you're going to have an opportunity where you seek out connection. And it could be a group of people. It could be um, a networking. It could be starting a YouTube channel, starting an Instagram. There's something about... I need connection, I need to start this. You might not know what it is yet, but it is on its way. Can we get a clarification on that? I really want specifically some tarot. Let's get one of these. Haven't used right away for a while. I need to shuffle, oh, nope, don't need to shuffle her. Okay, yeah, you've had breadcrumbs for a very long time. Um, so if you're used to it, you know, you're used to it. And I feel like you are getting ready to put yourself first. 
which why are you so uncomfortable why you're feeling so uncomfortable because you've never really been able to put yourself first you've not been taught how to do that so you're literally i'm hearing putting your feet in the sand for the first time and never having felt sand before so yes it will feel weird okay nice oh yes this is so good okay so what i'm feeling is um at the moment you're struggling to trust the universe trust god whoever <clears throat> best advice I can give you is ask the universe for help right now and it may seem far-fetched especially if you're in a bit of a rut but this is not just your love life this is literally your well-being your health and everything this is probably one of the most positive cards you can get right now because I feel like you are going to meet your person completely divinely timed okay it's going to be when both of you are ready to have that actual intense of a connection at this moment you're not ready for that yet you're literally just not on that vibration yet okay and I can tell you this sex and the intimacy is going to be so fucking good it's going to be like raunchy as fuck it's going to be so good oh my god it's going to be so good okay so I want to get some 18 plus cards we're going to have a look and see in the intimacy we're going to look at the raunchiness we're going to have a look at this person what's going on all that sort of stuff some of you guys okay I'm really blunt I'm picking up on a very specific message so one of the messages is some of you guys are in a work situation no that person is not your person okay let's just be really blunt here that person is not your person um also the person you're going to meet next i feel like might begin with the letter n p or m or w something like that so i feel like yeah the, that specific message they're saying we're not done there with that message okay so with that message i was feeling with some of you in a group in a group or work situation so you're in like a, a work Thing with lots of people around you know that person's not your person if they are not coming towards you if they're not communicating with you if they are giving you uh, breadcrumbs if you feel like you're needy if you feel like you're second guessing the connection no that is not your partner no that is not going to be the person you're going to be with I'm sorry if that's not what you want to hear but it's not your person <laughs> okay because some of you guys are thinking you know maybe I should you know, I'm gonna be really blunt this is such like a oh so honest this reading um, I feel like I'm hearing, like, I want to get a reading on it. I want to see what's going on. And maybe you're watching all, oh, some of you guys are watching videos. How do they feel about me? Things like that. And you're like, oh my God. Um, you know, that's, <laughs> you're just wanting to know everything. Guys, if you have to, no, not always, but if you have to look into a reading to understand how they're feeling about you, that might not be the right person for you and that's not for every situation every situation is different but i really really want to say that because i feel like i have to be seriously honest in this group there's something about just getting it all out there in this group so let's just get it all out there girl okay so oh all right so this person is going to make you so happy you've been through such an uncomfortable time this person if you have boobs loves your boobs oh my god do they love your boobs holy crap small boobs big boobs whatever you got boobs they're gonna love it okay stop worrying about your boob size or your bra size maybe you're trying to pick out your bra right now and maybe you're buying new bras or something i'm hearing i need support <laughs> so like physical support with your boobs or like um, emotional support so those of you who don't have boobs and just have you know a chest you know you're a guy um, I feel like for you guys, this person just generally loves the chest area. Um, they love to stroke from the neck down to the groin. That's just like their favorite thing to do with you. Um, and this person loves to tease. They are such a teasing person. Yeah, that is giving me such teasing energy. Okay, underneath we have the four of pentacles. So it will take a little bit of time to manifest this person. Um, but that's only because this is a very special relationship. And the last thing you want to do is rush it. All right, so I'm hearing get your cleavage out. So if you can create cleavage, if you have cleavage, if you just wanna get your boobs out or your nips out, girl, I'm hearing just go natural, go fucking natural, okay? So um, this person may be the first person you actually have sex with. Um, they, are, they possibly are somebody who you, yeah, you've never had sex before for some of you, or you've never had at least decent sex where you feel honored. Um, you've always felt very compared to. Um, yeah you've always felt very compared to you feel like there's always someone better than you and this is something that's going to change you're going to not feel like that anymore you always feel like you have to change your appearance as well and you don't have to do that with this person that's because there's a sense of perfectionism that you're really healing so that's a really big message for some of you guys okay um i keep looking at this deck so we're going to pull one from this deck okay so i feel like the connection between both of you 
is it's actually more about the sexual okay i'm gonna be really blunt this is about, actually about the se sexual connection you have with yourself so let's just pull it back to yourself then so when it when it comes to intimacy with yourself intimacy isn't just physical it's actually emotional too so if you can't feel your emotions if you can't honor yourself or actually be kind to yourself you will struggle to have relationships that will go anywhere deeper than you know surface level so I want you to work on if you are if and when you're ready or if you're doing it already look at what you uh, are feeling on a daily basis whether that be starting therapy doing therapy talking to somebody who you feel comfortable talking to journaling whatever it is there's a sense of need to come back to your to yourself then comes the physical side so here comes the masturbation and the feeling of the body parts I feel like for some of you guys if you're a woman, start grabbing your boobs more, <laughs> okay? So this is about you touching your body, especially if you've had anything to do with your body and you feel very uncomfortable. This is just a general advice. If this is triggering, you know, you don't have to do this. But I feel like for some of you guys, is start touching the parts of you that you don't really interact with very much. Remember, you're in a physical body and there's actually no shame in this. This is literally just a natural thing. It's like having a shit. <laughs> That's such a funny message. It's like having a shit. Oh my God. Um... <laughs> wasn't expecting that to come out my mouth um it's like having a shit um we all do it so, <laughs> okay so what i'm feeling is i want you to touch your boobs if you are a guy touch your chest touch your i feel for the guys especially it's to do with the um, solar plexus touching the belly button area to, to to the groin it doesn't have to be on like the penis but it can just be like around the groin area women i want you to touch your boobs if you don't have boobs i still want you to touch that area okay if that feels good for you or your shoulders, like your decolletage, decolletage, <laughs> where your like shoulder blades are. Okay, let's have a look and see. My singles, girl, you you really want to have some connection, and that's definitely on its way. I really do feel that for the, for you guys. It's it's on its way. It's definitely coming. Okay, so um, I want you to really get balanced as well. I'm sorry I'm focusing on you guys more in this reading, but that's just how it's coming across. Because you can you see how we've got like people and there's like just one person in each? That's showing me it's more about you right now. So that's obviously what we're meant to... This is what you're meant to hear. You know, I don't ever like to sugarcoat anything, but this is your person here. Hi. Can you see how safe this feels? Like it's so safe. You feel so incredibly safe with each other. Okay, so we have let go of anger and forgiveness. Um, and then we have... Cracked open, deep healing, balancing karma. That is exactly what you're doing. Pisces season is going to be very healing for you. Pisces and Aquarius season will be very healing for you. I'm also going to recommend you guys Labradorite. That's a really strong crystal I feel like you might need. Integrating energies. I mean, if this isn't the most like star CD group. Oh my God, it feels so star CD. Oh, okay. So let's just get one more card about the relationship when you come together. This person, if you are a woman. Oof. The person loves your vagine. Like, I'm getting the word, like, pussy <laughs> with the cat. Stroke. <laughs> Stroke it. <okay. laughs> Stroke that. Okay, I'm not going to say that word again. Stroke it. And the, my guys... Stroke it, okay? And I don't want you to watch stuff when you're doing this. This is about you connecting to your body. This is about you feeling, where do I get uncomfortable when it comes to my own body? And I'm not going to say, yeah, fucking just go for it. Because it might be triggering for some of you guys. This isn't about like just throwing you in the deep end. But if you want to create a much more comfortable connection with your body and you feel ready to do that, any crystals around the sacral chakra would be so good for you. But also this is to do with you honoring your body. Remember, this is about you guys owning your body and feeling comfortable in it and making decisions based on, you know, your own decisions it's not about what other people want so I want you to recognize that your body is very important so when you do get into a relationship you're not suddenly just giving away your body and you know you're doing all the work and you're not getting it back because that is something I feel like you're not going to have in the next relationship you are going to have a very balanced connection which is why you're going through such trauma possibly around your throat chakra needing to balance out every relationship you're in oh girl this is an intense one okay underneath this is possibly what you're feeling right now. I mean, we had the strength in the reverse. We had the Ten of Swords where she's crying. Guys, it is uncomfortable. I know I fucking feel it from this group. But honestly, just wrap yourself in a blanket. You are so fucking precious. You are doing such a good job. And this person that's going to come in come in your life is just so fucking precious. Like, oh, let me y'all. Oh, by the way, this is a new crystal kit that's coming. This is a chakra set. I mean, this is a 
timeless reading. So, you know, whenever you watch this, hopefully this will be on my shop. This is the chakra set. So this is on its way to, to you guys. I want this one. Ooh, hi. So this, this, um, yeah, that's why we had a lot of spiritual stuff at the start. You guys are letting go of stuff. So we've got the throat chakra and we've got the crown. This is amethyst and sodalite. So those two are really, really, really coming through. I kind of want one more. What's the representation of the relationship? Oh, nice. That's why we got that solar plexus at the start. Feeling much more confident and solid in your body. Yes, I love that. So I want to get just a couple more cards about your person because we haven't really spoken about your person in this reading. So let's just get you a couple of cards around who this person is. Or anyone leading towards this person. Oh, sex, sex, sex. That is that card. Oh my God, this person's like so good at sex. And it's not because like, it's something I feel like I want to say it's not because it's sex. They're just really good at it. They actually honor you so much. They are probably a fixed sign actually. This, this person's probably a fixed sign because they either, like I say, think in black or white Ooh, or an Aries. Hi. Well, they do have a fucking high sex drive. They have so much energy, which is why they can get really frustrated sometimes. Yeah, that actually I was feeling. The Saturn energy is around you because it's kind of like you have to learn through quite a long process to then manifest your person. But don't forget, like you can ease yourself in the meantime. You know, you're not meant to wait for somebody to come into your life. You're literally meant to live it. So the best advice I feel like for you guys is to Focus on, um, you know, just taking one step at a time. I know it's uncomfortable, but you're going to get there. And then we have this solar eclipse, solar and lunar eclipse. So they're probably going to be a lot of solar and lunar eclipses before you meet uh, this person. Okay, I want to do one more uh, advice. We're going to get you an advice kind of message here. We're going to see, oh, did I move that? I don't know. Okay, let's get you an advice. King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles appears to have it all. Good health, a loving family network, financial abundance, stability, and a high self, high level of self-worth. This powerful king has an innate ability to alchemize the energies around them by holding themselves in a high vibrational frequency. They grow where they are planted and never allow their environment to dictate their desired outcome. When the King of Pentacles enters into your life, you feel protected and secure in your presence. This card could signify an aspect of yourself or someone you know and admire who is supportive, adept, and reliable. If you've received this card in a reading, take it as a sign that financial gain and new opportunities are coming your way. Believe that you are worthy of all the beautiful things life has to offer and be open to receiving abundance. In the reverse, this card represents a materialistic, ego-driven, self-indulgent soul who embodies possessive and obsessive attributes. A shadow king of pentacles warns you against excessive overspending and instead encourages you to live more responsibly. Take a moment to think about the things you truly value in life that cannot be brought or sold. Reconnect with the natural world and work with the frequencies 432 hertz and 528 hertz to recalibrate your body back to a state of homeostasis. I actually think this is more about you connecting with your root chakra and getting more in your body. So that's interesting. So just take that as it resonates. This is a very kind of general reading today. Last one. Creations realize right time harvest and celebrate. This is about you guys honoring and celebrating your body. And basically just realizing you're a fucking amazing human that deserves to give yourself the time of day. <laughs> okay, and then underneath embracing change cycles of life transition and growth, which is exactly what I was feeling. You guys are going through such a big transition. So that is your reading guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Rates and my crystal show up below and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, my lovely group number two. Let's get started with your reading. I always lose these cards. I always lose these cards just before I start the reading. Oh my God. Okay. So group number two. Hi, how are we doing today? Let's do your reading. So we're going to do your singles reading. So we're going to see what this is. This feels like you. Okay. So let's have a look and see what we have going on for you. What are you attracting in terms of partnerships? Anything like that? Any advice? What's coming in for you guys? Nice, so meeting someone very artistic. That's lovely. This is about your artistic vision as well. So you're gonna be feeling very, very creative. Ooh, this is a very different reading. I'm actually picking up on thorns for this group. I'm actually looking more at the thorns than anything else. 
Okay, and we have the flirt, nice, okay. So I feel like the main um, energy of what I'm feeling is don't forget to flirt. Don't forget to try things that are light. Don't forget to get yourself out of your energy to kind of just feel free. So I feel like one of the best advice right now is more for your mental health. I feel like it's getting out of your energy. So that can be going out in nature, going for a walk, uh, and picking up, like going to different environments like the beach, the forest, maybe somebody else's house, uh, maybe working somewhere different if you can do that. Um, there's a sense of like needing to change things up, <clears throat> which is definitely the innovator. Um, this is not just somebody who does stuff um, the same every single day. Okay, and that's going to actually bring in your person. So we're going to have a look at the innovator, which is number 42. So let's see what this says. Create a written plan for the year ahead. What do you need to make it happen? This is Pisces. Okay. The innovator is a planner who is good at problem solving, giving clarity to areas that may have proved challenging for others. They provide fresh eyes and insight when they are on board, and once they begin, their action is hard to slow down and impossible to stop. Ooh. Okay, so this for you, you have a very high sex drive. <laughs> Let's just say that. You are very, very beautiful as well. You have a very beautiful, natural, gentle energy. Um, so I feel like you might have a name that represents the word beauty. Um, I don't know, like Belle, maybe. Um, this is called the Hoosier Beauty Rose. And I feel like this is to do with you guys opening up your heart chakra. And I feel like this is definitely to do with you challenging yourself for new experiences. So that's going to be basically how you meet your person. This is how you're represented to your person as well. This is how you're being seen to them. Um, I see you in groups of, with people as well. So you might start a new group, go to a group, something like that. What I'm feeling with the artist is this is to do with the energy that's coming towards you is this is somebody who's really open hearted, really open minded. And they're probably some sort of Pisces or Aries. There's some, something else as well, probably Taurus or Virgo. They feel really artistic, kind of misunderstood, um, and they feel kind of in the background. They're very introverted. They're somebody who you wouldn't normally kind of be drawn to, but at this time, you might not be drawn to them, but in the future, you will be drawn to them. Um, you might actually know this person for some of you guys. Not everyone, but you may know this person. Okay, the challenger. Let's just clarify all these cards because I feel like there's not a lot of clarification going on, so let's have a look. Okay, yeah, right. So I feel like you would actually do so well with having your own business. So if you ever thought about having your own business, yeah, go for it. Um, if not, it's to do with you having, um, being more seen with your ideas, especially if you're a Gemini, get seen with those ideas because you are the ideas gal or guy. Challenger. So your person has quite strong masculine energy. So I won't be surprised if they are a male. I know not everyone is gonna want a male, but they're very masculine. Um, they're very driven. If they're a woman, they're just seriously driven. Um, I don't see them being like closed off or anything to the point where they're too masculine, where they're like, I don't have a heart. Um, there's somebody who's completely opposite to that. They're very open-minded, very open-hearted. I'm seeing a woman and her legs are like open. So that's how this person makes you feel. But also <clears throat> if you're the one that's doing the penetrating, this person's legs are very open, <laughs> okay? So we have the seven of cups. Um, this, what I feel is you're gonna have lots of options. And what this means is, I feel like around the middle of the year, or around the time when it's hot in your country, I see that, come here in June or July, I see that there's lots of different options that you could take. So this could be, um, it could be as simple as like buying a new car, which then makes, which then um, allows you to go further, travel, which then allows you to have a job that's further away, which then allows you to meet new people. It's like a ripple effect. So it could be you do something as simple as buying a new car, which then, you know, does this thing, which does another thing, it does another thing. That is how you meet your person. That is basically, um, a series of events. I have an eyelash on my table. Hold on. <laughs> okay. So let's see what we have here. So with this, with this person here, you might meet them through Instagram. They're possibly a singer. There, I was getting a singer actually from this person, like an actual like music artist. That's kind of what I was feeling. And it's so interesting. These readings are all so different. This reading is so different to group number one, which I love, which is very different, which is, I like that because normally these readings can be quite similar. So that's fabulous. Love that. So with a challenger, this is going to be a, a relationship that's going to take a little bit of time to get started. Um, both of you aren't used to being in relationships 
just generally. Um, both of you are really introverted though. You may look, one of you may look extroverted, which is possibly you. I'm picking up you might have, have Leo in your chart. But you don't like the attention. Like you like it, but you don't like it. Um, the challenger is basically this energy of I want to be seen, get me seen, get me through the door. It's kind of this, um, I'm picking up on this, and this is like uh, a sexual thing as well. It's just like a pounding energy. So I'm picking up like, um, I need to be seen. So there's something about get me in the door. Um, the very sexual phrases too, you could take that as an innuendo. With this person, that's kind of what I'm feeling. That's the energy, and I'm seeing like a triangle. So I feel like there's three things that need to match up before there's something that happens. Um, this is like a series of events, like I said. So I feel like this is <clears throat> being seen more and then you basically um, meet this person. Do not force any connection to get to this person at all. And I know you may be in fear and may want to have these connections with people, but if somebody is not giving you what you want or that you're making, they're making you feel needy or they're making you feel just like shit, no, this is not your person, okay? This is going to happen so naturally. Um, okay, let me see what else. So what the flirt is showing me is don't be afraid to try new creative things because this is going to help you to obviously feel good within yourself but also create the connection with your person. It's going to help you to meet them um, because it's proven to yourself that you can trust yourself to try new things, okay? I'm also hearing clapping, so I feel like some of you guys are people who like to have an audience. Um, you are somebody who's possibly on stage, um, but you're gonna have an audience at some point. So it could be online, but I feel like whatever it is, people are gonna start to see your true you. And let's just say we're gonna get a lot of compliments, okay? Which may not be something you really need or want, but it's something you fucking actually do need because it's gonna give you a lot of confidence. It's gonna show you not every not everyone it has, you know, is not gonna have the worst intentions for you. I think this is about you trusting other people as well because you're used to doing it all by yourself because you've possibly been taught that that's kind of how life is, you know, oh, the big wide world, you know, the big, uh, you know, horrible world. And it's like, how do people used to say that? Like when people used to say like to me in school, like, oh, you know, when you get out in the big wide world, and I'm thinking, I'm already in the world. I'm literally breathing and living as a human being. Like, how am I not in the world? Like literally, it's so toxic. The way people, tr way people teach like kids, honestly, I can't even deal with it. So that's just my little rant. So you'll possibly be somebody who likes to go against the grain, which is so good because your person does too. Uh, he or she is just so like artistic. They are just, I can't, they, they struggle with the real world, <laughs> with the world. They struggle with it because they're very empathic. They're very sensitive. They're kind of in between worlds a lot of the time, which is very Piscean. Um, and then we have the uh, five here. I keep forgetting what these are. I actually can't remember what these are. Are they clovers? I'll have to Google it, I think. What are these? Okay, just Google it. It's a club. Spades, clubs, hearts, and diamonds. Sometimes, I don't know if anybody else, if any of you guys like, if any of you read cards, sometimes you actually can't see the card. Like you look at it, but you're not actually looking at it. It's really weird to explain, but yeah, anyway. anyway we're going off topic, girl, okay. <laughs> um all right let me see so if you are a woman especially you're going to meet some more feminine friends who allow you to get more comfortable with being a woman and being more comfortable with your femininity and being more comfortable with expressing yourself because you may have been around a lot of guys when you were younger you may have a lot of brothers um and with your if you are a guy you're just getting more comfortable with being emotionally vulnerable you're getting more comfortable so that's going to happen before you meet this person so you might be kind of uh, restricted i'm hearing like things are firing at you you feel like you can't you're being bombarded um and you're trying to put your shield up but it's like i can't do that anymore um so you might kind of be forced out of your environment to get you know you to change or something you know life is weird life happens in a weird way <laughs> Okay, so I want to get some dice, actually. I kept looking at the dice this time around. So we're going to get some dice for you, my lovelies. Do, 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 do. Okay, we have Scorpio. We have Neptune. And we have, oh, Neptune twice. Love that. Oh, yeah, we have Leo. Hi, she wanted to come out. Oh, 69. <laughs> I want to leave that there. <laughs> We're not going to, I'm not going to move that. <laughs> Love that. Oh, so this is about you being seen in sex. This is about you being able to be seen in, naked. Naked, naked, naked. I'm seeing this, um, this bath mat, which I really like, and I keep seeing it everywhere. It's one that says, let's get naked. One of you guys might have that bath mat. <laughs> I don't know, but that's something what some of you guys might have. Okay, so we have Scorpio with these two Neptune. This is showing me for a lot of you guys that you've been kind of underrated. Um, so I feel like the relationship is going to be like really intense. It could be a relationship between a Scorpio and a Leo, which high, the sex drive's going to be so high if that's something. 
um, and there's gonna be a lot of 69. For some of you guys, if this is the first relationship you're in, don't forget to just be really kind to yourself. Like you're not here to please your partner. You're not here to entertain them. You are a human being and so are they. And you're meant to just be seen as you are. And it takes time, especially if you've got a lot of trauma and all this stuff. So just be really kind to yourself. You're, you can only do so much, you know. Um, I keep seeing 69, I keep looking at it. It's so cute, I love that. So with a six and the nine, six being the house of health with Virgo, which we have, do we have Virgo? No, I swear we had Virgo. Oh my God, that is so weird. Okay, so Virgo. Um, so your personal, you could be a Leo, Scorpio or Virgo. Um, we have with a 69, this to me is, let's see. Get out of your comfort zone. This could also be you meet someone through something to do with animals or your health, which is in the sixth house or travel or both. Um, you can meet this person through, you know, you work at an animal sanctuary or you work in like a yoga as instructor, work as a yoga instructor, fitness instructor, guru, yada, yada, yada. That's possibly what I see here. Um, let's see what else. What else do I see? Um, I'm seeing you buying like boots with like a really thick heel. I'm seeing you getting kicked up the butt, like emotionally, like the universe is kicking you. Um, you kick yourself a lot, not literally, but you emotionally kick yourself. So I'm just picking up, just girl, just be really kind to yourself. Okay, um, I can actually see you talking to this person in spirit. So I wouldn't be surprised if you're the sort of person that has dreams about this person. Um, not, not just before you meet them, you're gonna get it randomly. So it's not gonna be as um, black and white as what you may think. It might not be like you're gonna, you get a, uh, like a really intense dream. It's like, oh, I'm gonna meet them the next day. Sorry guys, it's not gonna happen like that, I don't feel. Um, it's actually about you getting prepared to be around this person, especially, you know, especially if it is somebody who, you know, with relationships, they will trigger us. Um, and I'm gonna say, especially for the opposite sex, I'm sorry if you're in the same sex relationship, it is pretty much the same thing. It's like whatever energy it is, masculine or feminine, but when it comes to things like the opposite sex or like somebody you're really interested in, it's fucking confusing. It's really confusing. And I feel like some of you guys just need to give yourself a break when it comes to your relationships. Cause you kind of are trying to get things accurately perfect. And it's like, yeah, it's just this sense of letting go of that perfectionism. With your sex drive though, some of you guys have really high sex drive and it's kind of making you overthink. Um, by the way, the planets will affect your sex drive. So you might actually have days where you're like really high on, on your, like your sex drive, like through the roof. Something that I'd highly recommend is moving your body. Um, this will stop you from being, or going towards people that are toxic just because you're feeling that sexual energy. Okay. Um, yeah, I feel like such a mum when I say that, but because I feel like I'm trying to say like it's a bad thing, but your sexual energy is so fucking sacred. Like it literally is so sacred. I'm not saying like don't have sex with people or random people, whatever you want to do. But what I'm saying is if you don't have somebody you want to, and you want to be physical, you know, do it with yourself. But also there is other ways to use it. So you can use it creatively or you can use it in a physical way, especially if you want to start doing more fitness, that will help your mental health so much. Like that will clear your mind very, very quickly. Okay, I am picking up on three months, so you could actually meet someone possibly in three months. Timing is random, and let me just say that. Nine is really coming up, and I really actually don't know what that is, so we'll see what wants to come through. I'm getting an anxiety about this person on you. You, you might meet them in school or education some way. Um, your person, next person you're gonna meet, they love me. <laughs> This is so, this is so really weird. I don't know if this is kinky or disgusting. I'm hearing you love me and you love their me. <laughs> that kind of makes you want to throw up. Um, okay, that was kind of gross, but okay. Both, both of you have a really gross sense of humor. One of you is really gross and one of you has a really strong, dirty sense of humor. You don't like to sugarcoat anything, but you make your person laugh and they make you laugh. So that's the most important thing. All right, this person has a very intense um, nature, so you'll know if they like you or not. Don't worry about that. Um, if you want a male or you're a male, whew, big penis, <laughs> big penis energy, big D energy right there. I'm not gonna say that again, that is so cringy. I, 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 I'm not the sort of person to say big D energy. It just does not work with me, especially my British accent. It sounds too posh. <laughs> 
Okay, um, so speaking of accents, <clears throat> this person is a lot to do with their throat chakra, so they could be um, somebody who does sing, talks a lot. Um, they have uh, quite a strong Italian accent or German, Spanish, like they're from Europe somewhere. I'm getting Europe and India, so either or, uh, keeping it general. So you have a, such a nice booty, you both love each other's butt, one of you is really pale, um, or your person just could just be very pale. Um, red and like maroon and like deep pinks, really good colour for you. Uh, well, it will make you feel more confident wearing those colours. So I'm getting the song The Tide Is High. This to me is showing me, like I want you to use your energy very, um, uh, what's the word? Like very, oh, Mercury retrograde is so annoying. Um, like I want you to use your energy very consciously because I feel like your energy is being sucked dry and not in a good way. <laughs> you will be sucked dry though. Hi. Um, <laughs> okay. So this is kind of the energy that the universe, your guides want you to be in. They want you to be in this kind of energy, embracing your true nature. You have a very gentle nature, which is why you have attracted some really dodgy people in the past. Cause it's just like, that's kind of what you have attracted. Um, and I just feel like your people who have been around you have kind of more or less wanted you just for your body. So you're kind of learning that that's not, not just what you want. You want somebody that's really intense and you want somebody who really gets to know you. So we have the judge. So a lot of you guys judge your heart. You literally do. Like that's, that's something that you are learning not to do as much. The feminine in your family was really, was really judgy. Okay. So I see one of you is definitely a healer. That's one of your careers. Um, I see whatever that is entailing, even if it's just, even if it's a singer, that's extremely healing. Um, and whatever you're doing, you're making a massive influence on other people. And it doesn't have to be on the internet. It can be through just, you know, doing your job on a daily basis. You're influencing a lot of people. People are doing what they wish you, but you're doing what people wish they could do. Um, you're letting go of three toxic people and you're saying no a lot more now which is great and oh my god your person is so hot i just got like i just felt like the energy from that card oh this person has abs oh my god they're so hot like they're oh girl this is feeling really intense um their muscles are so sexy like i'm getting such like a high sex drive coming up with this group um so muscles are a massive turn on for you like you like to really feel you know, when you actually, when you feel physically fit, you feel really sexy. So if you want to feel more sexy within yourself, get physically fit as much as possible, or at least work towards that. Um, and it doesn't mean you have to look like toned or like skinny, or whatever, like no. It's about actually being just healthy, just generally, looking after yourself. And that will actually attract your person because I'm hearing, I want you to focus on you. That will fill up your cup. That will manifest your person because it's showing this is like literally your intuition or the universe talking through me. It's saying that's showing me you're ready to meet somebody because you're not going to suddenly just give yourself to the next person you meet. Okay. <laughs> this is what group number one had. That's the card that group number one had. Nice. Okay, so these are your messages here. We have the bloom, creations, realize, right time, harvest, celebrate. The sacred waters, nourishment, replenishment, health, rest, self-care. Yeah, health is definitely a big one for you guys. Sureness of the soil, unseen help, support and community. Yeah, that's definitely on its way. Definitely. A lot of you guys are just feeling a bit uncomfortable right now, which is totally normal. It is uncomfortable, yes, but it is totally normal. Okay, I'm going to pull from one of my crystal kits that's coming soon. This is the uh, sharp. Oh, sorry, guys. Just noticed. I literally just realized I have a microphone on me and now I'm just hitting it. Okay. Um, we're going to have a look and see what a crystal represents your relationship. This is a chakra set. So it has all the chakras in here. Definitely this one. Ooh. Makes you feel really confident. Makes you feel good. Ooh, lots of root chakra. You guys are going to be so safe in this connection. You're going to feel safe. Your career is going to be popping off. You're going to be like, you're just going to feel safe and good. And you're going to be away from your uh, toxic family members too. Like that's going to help you feel more safe as well. 
I um, keep hearing the song Wade in the Water. Or is that Wade in the Water? That one. Wade in... I'm going to get a copyright. I'm like really going for it. And I'm thinking I'm going to get copyrighted soon. Okay. This is what the bloom represents. The card is all about reaping the reward for what you've created. Dreams manifested into matter. It's a confirmation that you're currently in the bloom phase of your cycle of growth or that you're about to be. The bloom is where you're at... Uh, where we're... Mm, words the bloom is when we're at our fullest the sun is shining things are bountiful and we're at our most expansive the deep roots of our dreams have been realized we're blooming we've made it where we longed to be we're likely visible and out in the world life is often adventurous energetic positive and good this card comes with a message to embrace and enjoy this moment celebrate what you've created enjoy what has come to you revel in it bask in the beauty drink in the nectar be nourished by the sweet scent of what now, what's now in the physical. Enjoy the harvest. Stop and smell the roses of your life. Life is cyclical and the bloom won't be at its fullest forever. Your work, your work through the seasons of your life has brought you to the, this point. Don't take the bloom for granted. Enjoy it while it's here, but don't hold on to it for too long either. Let it be what it is in its fullest. And when the time comes, the re to return the petals to the earth you'll soon know when that is do that too i let the blooming happen i resist the urge to hold back i celebrate all that i've created and enjoy my moment of blooming completely and fully okay let's get a couple of these capricorn chiron this person could have Capricorn in their chart. Your career is definitely changing. So I'm hearing, don't worry, that will be sorted. You won't be drained forever. You won't be drained forever. Lovely. You're going to start to feel a lot more comfortable in your body. This is just a process. I feel like your person could have just really cozy qualities and they feel really, really fun and energetic. And they just have this life of the party type vibe. So that is your reading. Have a great day. Rate some crystal shot up below as usual. And I'll speak to you very soon. Bye. Ow. Bye. <laughs> Hello, group number three. Let's get started with the reading. So we have the Liberator. This is your energy. Your energy. Let's have a look and see what sort of person or energy you're attracting into your life right now. So let's see what's going on. So we're probably going to look into your energy for a little bit and then We'll have a look into the intimacy a little bit later on in the reading, so I won't forget about that. Do not worry about that. Oh, okay, so you guys are both very, very different. Not different from each other. You're the same sort of type of person, but you've always felt very different. You are somebody who likes to kind of go away from the grain. You don't like to go with the grain. Interesting. So working with the father energy is really important. So anything to do with your father energy, your, your childhood, um, your you know caregiver, whoever was, was the male caregiver or masculine caregiver, uh, that is what you're working with, especially relationships to your dad. Um, looking at that, working with that, that's going to actually bring in this person. This person's very adult. Um, they're at least two to four years older than possibly five or six years. But for a lot of you guys, mainly two to three two to three years older um they're very intense they're very gentle they are really masculine um i feel like you're more of the feminine there and more the masculine feel free to swap around if you feel drawn to do that but whatever this energy is you know not labeling it really here i feel like you're this person is masculine for you so they give you a lot of um masculine energy so they make you feel very sexy they make you your sex drive go really high and they show you um, what it looks like to have somebody really put the effort in. Like this is something that you are not used to doing. This is not something you're used to being around. Um, this is somebody who will help you to get back into your energy. They will ground you. They will bring you down. They will they bring you down and ground you and bring you down to ground. Like they will make you feel much more comfortable. They have a really soothing voice. They possibly, to me, look uh, Arabic, Turkish, Italian. They have dark features, I feel. So dark skin or dark hair or both. Um, this person also has a very tall body, like a very tall torso. They do feel taller than you. Um, if it's a female, 
I actually feel they're more petite, but their body's quite long. So like they have quite a, a thin body or like they have from the like the nips to the groin is quite a long line. They're long, long lined. <laughs> um, they possibly have quite long legs. Um, they're just really, really attractive. Their energy is very potent. Like you won't be able to miss this person. You might even have weird smells before you meet them or like around them. So you might have like weird smells that you pick up on and you're like, what the fuck is that? And then your person's there. It's not, it's not your person smells like, ew, they stink. <laughs> like, no, like <laughs> you just get like quite strong intuitive hits like Claire Gustance, where it's like you can intuitively feel the intensity of the smells. You're like, oh my God, but they're not even there. Um, so with the liberator, you will need to liberate yourself from a lot of old ways of doing things, being you know, that sort of thing. No, it's not going to be easy. Yes, is it worth it? Fuck, yes. So I see you pulling away from family. It almost, I see you in like a sleeping bag and you're like, like it's your cocoon, but you're in a sleeping bag. It's like acting as your cocoon and you're literally pulling away from being in that almost like a web. It's almost like a worm or a fly in a web and you just feel like you're trapped and you feel, ugh, it just feels like this kind of like molding, kind of merging energy and you just don't know what's up, what's down, who are you, who are you to your to these people in your life. You're pulling away from that. You literally feel like you're being, you're ripping yourself away from it. So you do have to put in physical and emotional work to really pull away from that old toxic energy. Once you do that, your person is waiting for you. You will not be alone. You will not feel alone. And no, a relationship does a relationship does not complete you. But as human beings, we do need community. So, if you don't have anyone, this is just confirmation that this person will fucking support you. And I'm feeling like I'm really connecting with this dark green. This person has like a really grounded, earthy connection to you and to the earth and. They are so sexy as well. Like, do you know what's really sexy about them is what I'm picking up in this group? They have their own house. <laughs> they have their own car. They are very good at supporting themselves physically and emotionally. Guys, this person is literally everything you've wanted in a person. And especially if they're a male, because I feel like for my women, especially who are, who are straight and want a male, you know, just specific message for you guys is you guys want somebody who's fucking supportive, who cares about you, who's loving to you, who makes you feel like you are safe, you're grounded, you feel good. This is somebody who will fucking support you. They will give you the peen, they will give you the vagine, whatever you want, they will give that to you because they want to. It's, they, there's no forcing, there's no adjusting, there's no, oh, I'm gonna tread on eggshells. It's like, no, you're just gonna be yourself. You feel good, you feel safe, you feel sexy, you feel yummy, you feel complete. Yum, love this. Okay, so underneath we have the artist, which is such a nice one. I feel like, this is just showing you that your artistic, abil artistic abilities will help you to shine. So I feel like anything artistic for you is going to be really, really good for you. I actually feel like I want to pull some self-care dice. I feel like you might need this right now. So where's my self-care dice? I want to get this out for you guys. Just being really drawn to pull this for you. So let's just get this. How can group number three is self-care right now? Uh, yeah, I just feel like I want to pull these out. So... All right, get more sleep. Mm -hmm. Get some blackout blinds if you need them. Some of you guys might be suffering with sleep because you are too hyped up on caffeine um, or you are overthinking. Get some rose quartz, grab some rose quartz. I do sell raw rose quartz on my shop for a reason because it's so good for sleeping. I actually hold rose, raw rose quartz when I struggle to sleep. Or you're around your phone, get that away from you. Um, I'm feeling like I need to like help you with your sleep so um, blackout blinds maybe um, earplugs or something there's something to do with you need to settle down in the body so yeah okay massage anything to do with reflexology if you've got a pain in your body look it up on the foot map and see where it is on your foot because all our organs are connected to our feet paint those nails girl or you know test out you know any sort of beauty habits or something you know um, try out some smoothies drink something new um, experience your taste buds. That is actually something both of you do. You like to lick each other. <laughs> you both like to lick each other's neck, suck each other's neck, all that sort of stuff. Um, water your plants. So that could be literally watering your plants or hydrating. But then we also have an apple. So I feel like eat some healthy food. 
and eat some apples. Apples are great. They are so good for you. I'm hearing they're good for your hormones. I don't know what they have in there, but they're really good for you. So that is your little self-care to help you right now. So hopefully that helps you with how you're feeling. I'm also picking out anything to do with um, citrus or fruits. Anything orange is going to really help you through these transitions. Let's get one more. I want to get another card. Can you just clarify like the overall energy? You're going to have a baby with this person actually as well. So it's going to be nice. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> Let's get another one. I don't like her. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. Wow, I was not expecting that. All right. Let's, oh, shit. Okay. Wow. You're definitely meant to be a storyteller because you always go through such intense stuff. Okay, so your love life is really tied to where you are right now. So I'm just gonna just explain this here, what I'm feeling. So let's pull this down a little bit. Um, so this is you both. You both are going through pretty much the same thing. This feels like, um, like a, um, what's it called? Oh, Mercury retrograde is so annoying tree of life like the tree um family tree thank you so you know like those old times where they made family trees and you know they drew it they drew it or they printed it and they put like pictures of how each of the people connected like the grandfather and the grandparents to the grandfather and uh no to the grandchildren to the grandpa and the mother and all that sort of stuff you are really connected to your family and what it does is it prevents you from actually seeing your true self because we feel like we have been taught that our parents are like God. You know, that's what we've been taught. And you might not be conscious of this, but this is something that's very subconscious within us. We've been told to always do what other people tell us, but you are a giver, okay? You naturally are a giver. You will always try to be the best type of giver, but it's not helping you anymore. Also, Adam and Rose is might be names around you as well. So I feel like, um, first it'll be fatherhood stuff coming up. This is going to be a challenge, but it's going to be what's going to liberate you. And then we have motherhood issues that's going to come up and then you're going to be free, basically. So this feels like two or three years of therapy, two or three years of really figuring stuff out. And then boom, that's your person, because this is not this is like you're having to liberate yourself from your old life. And it's not like your life is like wrong or anything like that, but it isn't something that's serving you anymore. OK, let's see what else. Yeah, some challenging times. It's okay, it's not gonna last too long. Some of you guys might work in the fast food industry, I just heard McDonald's. <clears throat> and I just, yeah, so you guys work at McDonald's, so that may be where you're working right now. Okay, um, let me see. This person, <clears throat> definitely from a past life, and I'm picking up on a grandfather, so whether they're in spirit or they're actually um, physically here, I feel like they're guiding you towards your person, they're helping you. Most likely in spirit, that will make more sense. So it could be a great grandpa as well. But they're helping you. They're helping you meet this person. So they're guiding you. They're around you a lot. So don't be afraid to talk to them in spirit. They are. They will listen. They're listening to you. Um, okay. Queen of Spades, Two of Spades. Speak your truth. Throat chakra is a really big thing for you guys. That will help you liberate yourself from any old ties. Don't be afraid of new people. There's going to be some new people coming in. Don't be afraid. They're actually really helpful in your journey. Let's have a look at your relationship. Yep, throat, base. We got some really intense stuff coming up with a throat chakra. And this is about you speaking your truth, liberating yourself. And this is about you getting to feel safe and realizing what safety is. You are not meant to prioritize other people above yourself. You, that's what you've been taught that's not actually what real life is about. It's actually about putting ourselves first and then being there to help others. You may have been taught, you know, that you have a very immature people around you that basically t treat you like shit or have treated you like shit and treated you that you're not important, your body's not important. That is far from the truth, my friend, okay? So with the four of clubs, is this the clubs? Yeah, with the four of clubs, this is kind of like um, you're having to basically shield yourself a lot of seeing this. Shield yourself a lot from other energies that are coming in. Um, and that's basically what you're learning to do is put yourself first. And I see within a year with a three in it or three years, three months, yes, your person will come in. This is like the most deepest relationship I've felt for a very long time. This feels like a really like old soul, witch and warlock type relationship. Like one of you's a witch, one of you's a warlock. 
um, like you just feel so old soul and I know you know who this person is you might not consciously know them but subconsciously you know you spiritually you just know who this person is I feel like I want to pull you guys a crystal card I'm going to pull you one of these as well but I'm going to pull you a crystal card too because I feel like I want to do that any other guidance too courage yep that's basically what you're going through right now hi yeah, that's intense, but it's necessary, necessary. Okay, let's get you a crystal card. What do you need to, need? what do you need right now? What do you need right now? To attract love, relationships, get grounded, get comfortable, all that jazz. That one? No, that's not the one. They're saying no. They were laughing at me. They're like, why do you want that one? Okay, sunstone. Whoops. Okay, a stone of creativity and determination. The sunstone invites action, decision making and embracing the opportunities. It brings mind and body into alignment and stimulates passion, self-knowledge and personal transformation. Uh, associated with the signs of Leo and Libra, especially lucky when worn on a Sunday. On a Sunday. Creativity and action. Beautiful. Nice. I love that. Love her. Okay. Let's get you some cards around this relationship. Let's see what the sex is like. Let's see what the intimacy is like. Okay. I just feel that you guys are going through such challenging times at the moment. Like this isn't comfortable at all. 10 of wands. Eight of wands. Seven of Swords. This person might braid your hair. If your hair is long enough, they might braid your hair. They love your hair. They're just like, oh my God, your hair is so gorgeous. Um, they're just awed with your hair. They love textures. They're very Taurian, this, this person. They do feel like a Taurus. They are very Taurian. Um, Ignore naysayers. I feel like you say ignore naysayers. Ignore people who don't agree with you. Like, of course, like, you know, listen to what they have to say. <laughs> but, like, don't always take everything too personally if you can. Because there's a lot of people around you who are trying to tell you what to do and it's not right. Wow. Both of you have high sex drives to the max. Your, your sex drive is actually going to be so honoured in this relationship. You've kind of not really had that yet. So um, I feel like that's going to be so fucking honoured here. Ooh, this is what the person's going to see you like. They're going to see you as the gem. You've you've always been kind of the gem, like the diamond in the rough, basically. Like you're the diamond. This is the rough. Feels pretty rough. Um, and you you're multifaceted. You've always tried to like prove yourself to other people, kind of show them who you are. But you're not going to do this with this person. I want to see how you're going to meet. Oh, it's a frog. I actually don't know. We might notice this guy, but he's there. So you're noticing interesting things. Frogs are a massive omen for you with this relationship. It's showing me emotional intimacy. So I feel like your person's very masculine. Right now they're working on their Mars. They're working on getting uh, more action into their life, which that could represent like sex. <laughs> um, <laughs> so we have eight and two, which is I feel like a completion because eight and two makes 10. You both are working on stability and intimacy. And I feel like you're going to meet when both of you are... Okay, I'm just going to hear it when both of you are ready. But I feel like there's something else. I feel like there's something else. I think you want a tarot card for this. Let's get a tarot card. How are you meeting? You're going to love this person's butt and you're going to like it up the butt. <laughs> okay. That's what I heard. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Okay. Well, hi. Um, nice to meet you. <laughs> Didn't know that was coming out. All right. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. This is so intense. I'm hearing, can you feel it? Can you feel it? <laughs> this person, you know that song where it's like, can you feel it? Can you feel it? It's like, you're thinking, I can fucking feel it. It's not comfortable. Yeah, that's what you're going through. I'm hearing, oh, you thought life was going to be easy? No, bitch. We got the death card. <laughs> okay, so we have the two and we have the uh, Taurus. This is basically ruled by the same house. We have two signs that rule Venus and we have Mars. So there's not going to be anything short of intensity here. You both are very intense. Um, can we get one more? What's after this wheel of fortune? Decision making. 
this person has really big muscles they're really sexy like you look at them and you're like fuck like you want to have sex all the time so contraception up like i like to say because you gotta like make sure you're both safe and you're both not having babies at the time that you don't want to have babies okay um you want to make sure you're having babies at the time that you should have babies you know um that is interesting that is so interesting wow oh my god i feel your energy flipping like a fucking light switch um i'm hearing flick me like a light switch <laughs> that is a really interesting phrase i feel like it's like a Nicki minaj phrase okay you are done with the oppression you are done with people telling you what to do okay this is going to bring in especially if you have fatherhood or motherhood issues you're going to bring in a really gorgeous relationship time for you to fucking put your foot down and get the relationship you actually want okay I see you, like I say, your energy flipping like a light switch. What I mean by that is you have been through dark times. You have been through uncomfortable shit and you are now ready to embrace this. This person is so yummy. You're burning bridges with old connections, but you're also just burning anything that just no longer serves you. Um, this, oh my God, this relationship is coming in so randomly. Like I literally can't even tell you how it's coming in. Um, but this person is so lovely. Um... You're very close to their family. They've, they've done a lot of work on themselves. They are very, very mature. They represent the horse. You represent a toad or a frog. So what I see is they're representing freedom to you. And you're being represented by like emotional and um, just like hard times and things like that. Can you see how this, this man has got his hand on her stomach? I'm seeing that that might be kind of like a sensitive area for those of you who have, especially have Virgo in your chart. Um, this area is definitely going to be full. So your, your solar plexus is going to be happy. You're going to feel comfortable and confident with this person. Um, this is actually interesting. I see you actually getting engaged within about 10 months or something happening within 10 months. You might suddenly want to move house. But your relationship isn't just a relationship. This is your whole life. And I don't mean that it's taking out your whole life. You will have your tribe but what is nice this person is sucking in your tribe they are literally being the magnet they are both of you coming together as like two forces coming together to make like a fucking laser like both when you both come together you're like a laser and as i'm saying that my third eye is really hurting so both of you are bringing in this connection where you're getting when you get together you are so fucking powerful and people are very influenced by both of you they, they're like oh my god i wish i had that sort of connection so when you come together, you're going to be a massive influence on other people. And you may actually... Okay, I'm going to be really blunt here. Some of you guys might do porn. <laughs> I just saw that. I saw you both in front of the camera being naked. Or you both might just be in front of the camera and not naked. Like maybe two influencers or something like that. Um, but this person sees such endearment within you. They will trigger some fears of abandonment because you aren't... You are still working with that. But this person... This person might have a nipple piercing <laughs> or you might have a nipple piercing. Some of you guys, you might have a, something on your stomach as well. Maybe a tattoo or something like that. Pixie helpers in green adventuring, not all wanderers are lost. Clearing the way, luck and opportunity and heal the healer. I fucking love those two cards. Let's get one more. This is getting juicy. Some of you guys might be a sex therapist or that might be something you want to do later on in life. Oh, fuck yes. Oh, I love this so much. I'm so excited. Oh my God. Because <laughs> I'm like so confused of how this is coming together. Okay. Realizing stuff with the death card. Going inwards with the hermit card. Karma changing. Then you start to realize that shit, I can't rely on these people I used to rely on. Feeling really uncomfortable. Uh, going out your comfort zone. And then you start to meet your person. This person is part of your community. They are going to, like I say, be magnetizing your community in. And this is why you're feeling so uncomfortable because you are healing. You are going for some healing. And with the heal the healer, this is what you're doing. You are the healer and you're being healed. And this person, you're finally getting the relationship you've always wanted. You are literally getting that so strongly. And yes, this is a general reading, but I do not lie. You know, I'm a Scorpio. It's very hard for us to lie. <laughs> All right. Oh my God, they're definitely a Taurus. <laughs> oh, I love that. They are so cute. Oh, they're so cute. They are so gentle, so fun. No more up, up and down people. I'm hearing Humpty Dumpty. That's not a sexual thing. That's like, this is like, 
just no more confusion. That's what I'm feeling. Okay, first quarter moon, new moon. This could be when you meet them. This could be when you were born, you had this. Um, new moon's going to bring in this person. You might be born on Halloween or be a witch. Like you might resonate with that. Because I see that I'm hearing enchanting, enchanting energies around both of you. So let's get you one of these cards. Let's see what's coming up. Birthing a new age, birthing new creations, dreaming a new world into being, retreat, rest be held. Yep, that is something you need to do right now. Okay, that's your reading. Have a great day and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye. Hello, group number four. So the audio decided not to work because of Mercury retrograde. So we're going to be doing a voiceover for this reading. So hopefully it works out. So let's get started with your reading. So you guys got the creator for the first card. So what I felt from this is you guys are the creator. You guys are the ones that are the creator. This is you guys on this side. And then we have the other card, which is the seeker. So we have number 21 for the creator and we also have number 44 for the seeker so because this is a singles reading this is a relationship reading for you guys i feel like your person is actually seeking you out right now you might actually know this person you might actually know who they are they might be somebody in your sphere if not this is definitely somebody who is actually seeking you out and you may actually get very intuitive hits about this person. They may be somebody who you see in dreams. They're going to be somebody who is going to be very almost just Piscean around you. They're going to have a lot of spiritual aspects to them that make sure that they're known before they're actually physically known. So you'll know about them. Possibly you'll see their name a lot or you'll get like hints and synchronicities from the universe. You'll get signs. I am picking up on a horse for your synchronicity. And I also am picking up on a hummingbird. So I feel like for you guys, it's about finding your joy to actually manifest this person. So we have the Democrat, which is number one, which <clears throat> I found very interesting because the Democrat, I feel, is somebody who, I mean, this I feel is representing the, the reading and the reading. I feel like the Democrat is representing the relationship. So the fact we have number one means that when you both come together, you act as a unit, you act as a relationship that is one and you're not going to be in a connection that ends up you doing all the work and you know that that's the thing at the end of the day if you've been around a lot of toxic partnerships or you've been around a lot of toxic people who make you feel like it's all your job you're the only one who is the one who is doing all the work then you will be used to that but this relationship this connection is coming in for you to show you that relationships are actually two, like two to tango. So the fact that we have number one shows me this could be your first relationship. Um, this could be a relationship that you actually create a sexual connection. You may have been in connections and you may have not, it may have not got to that point. So this is going to be possibly your first connection where you actually have such a deep sexual relationship. So we have the priest underneath, which I feel represents you guys and the basically the religious aspect it might be you guys come from a religious family and I felt like that was basically what was coming through so we then have me shuffling the cards and we have the playing cards coming out here so the first card we have is the three of clubs I hope that's right I always get this confused <laughs> so if it's not I'm going to call it a club for now so we have the three of clubs we have the ace of clubs the six of clubs the six of spades the five of diamonds and the king of spades and the ace of cups. So I really love the fact we have the ace of cups right at the end because I feel like this is representing you and your emotional evolution, basically. And I love how these... I feel this reading is so different now I'm doing a voiceover, which I really love because I feel like these messages were meant for you. So this is actually, I feel, a very special reading. So the fact that you have the ace of cups, which is the ace of hearts, right at the end, which is amazing. Like I say, this is like an emotional evolution. I feel like you guys are going to emotionally evolve. And as you do this, this is going to help you to attract your partner. So I feel like for both of you on either side, even if, especially even if you don't know this person, both of you are actually learning right now to be emotionally connected to yourself and your environment, to not hold so closely, hold yourself so closely to yourself. Because right now I feel like you're 
very practical. You're somebody who doesn't like to get too close to people. And this might be very subconscious. You might not actually know this is a this is a thing. But I feel like on a sexual level as well, you may not have had a deep sexual connection yet. I feel I'm getting that really strongly. You may not have had sex with anyone. You may not have had that deep sexual connection. So what I'm feeling is as you progress, I feel like in the next couple of years, you're going to create a connection where both of you are the same, but you're different. So we have this six of clubs and the six of spades in the middle. And the six of clubs, I feel like, is you. And the six of spades is your person. So you can see they're both the same. They're number six. But they're both different um, kind of pictures. We've got the spades and we've got the, uh, the club. So you're both different, but you're similar. So you represent a very similar... Um, you represent a similar kind of... What's the word? Oh, so this is Mercury retrograde. It's so annoying. You both have a the same purpose but you do it differently. So you could actually end up working or alongside this person. I do see you having a massive change before you meet this person, which will end up you both being just kind of at a loss. So it may be you have to move out all of a sudden, you may lose your job. And I'm just saying this, I don't feel like this is going to be something you will, I think you will already know this is going to happen. Um, but if it does happen, it will be for your highest good and it will be sorted because I feel like because we have the, uh, the king of clubs this is amazing it's literally you coming into your power and i would not be surprised if both of you end up being healers or you are a healer because both of you are meant to be um here to help the collective and i feel like both of you are from different sides of the country or from different states i feel like both of you have different heat climates so this actually is so funny if what i'm getting i'm getting two messages one of it, one side of it is uh, one of you is really hot, one of you is really cold. So actually temperature wise, but also it could be in your nature. One of you is just kind of really calm. I feel like you're the calm one and the other, the person you're going to be with is um, somebody who's very hot and heavy. And in, in bed, when you're actually like being physical and having sex, one of you might like the covers on and might, one of you might like the covers off. And then one of you ends up being like the sweaty one and one, one of you ends up being like the really non sweaty one. Okay, so we have Gemini at the first house, we have the fifth house, Taurus, Jupiter, and we have uh, Uranus or Pluto, I always get confused with these ones, uh, with a dice, I feel like this is representing how you both are going to meet, and I feel like this is to do with managing your expectations around relationships, I feel like you especially are working on basically putting yourself first in connections. Don't be afraid to make the first move with people, but I don't feel like you're going to meet this person on a dating site. I feel like the best thing for you to do right now is to be and do anything that makes you really, really happy and makes your emotions just rise and feel really good. When you're in that energy, keep doing that same thing. That's going to help you to take life less seriously and to also help you trust life, especially if you do things that allow you to you know, have fun and be joyful, it allows you to trust yourself because you are bringing in that joy. Because I feel like your family life has been quite hard. So I do feel as if you're going to have um, a very joyful connection with this person. So because this is a singles reading, I do feel like a lot of you guys have been single for quite a long time. Um, if you haven't, I do see that you may need to have a couple of years before you manifest another person because I feel like your love style is changing and you're always somebody to put another person first and it's not doing you any good, basically. Um, okay, so in terms of the intimacy, as I'm shuffling these cards, I'm feeling this massive romantic energy coming through. So we have the chariot, the hanged man, the seven of cups, the ace of pentacles and the lovers. So what I feel like for this reading is you're, you might be tied up a lot when you're having sex you might be somebody who likes to be restricted almost you might like to be in a small room when you're having sex you like being pushed up against a wall um you're somebody who possibly likes to be in an environment where you are in like a tight space or somewhere that's outside somewhere that's different somewhere that you might actually be it's almost like you want to be exposed but you don't so you might want people to find you out if you're having sex with somebody you kind of like that rush <laughs> Um, so in terms of your person, I also feel like they're going to be somebody who's definitely in uh, the area of fitness or health. They're somebody who's learned a lot through their health and they definitely feel like a Pisces to me. Uh, they could be Pisces, could have strong Gemini and Taurus in the back. And when I get Taurus in the back, um, 
I'm hearing Taurus in the back, Pisces in the front. <laughs> uh, business in the back, pa party in the back, a uh, business in the front. Um, so I feel like with the Taurus energy, they're very stable. They love stability and that's the sort of thing they're searching for. And the fact this person is a Pisces is showing me that their kind of nature is very, very spiritual. <clears throat> There's somebody who wants to be seen, who wants to be known as a spiritual person, but they will struggle with that at the start of their life, I feel. So I also feel with this energy, both of you are learning to strip back your love life and to simplify things. And the main thing I'm picking up also is you both would have had quite a hard life before manifesting this person. You would have gone through quite a lot of possibly health issues or something like that. So I feel like in terms of the um, the energy that both of you have, it's going to be really, really beautiful. And the main thing I want you to do is to not ask for permission anymore. It's about you putting yourself first, especially when it comes to sex. I was getting a lot of kind of masturbation. I remember from this group as well. So I feel like a lot of you guys are doing things solo for now, which I know it kind of sucks. I know if you know you want to be physical with somebody or you're feeling physical, you want to do that. But at the end of the day, if that's something you can't do at that moment, that's okay. For you, it's really about learning to work with your body. And I feel like a lot of you guys have, ha have had quite a lot of religious um, upbringing and it's, it's been quite uncomfortable for you in terms of being able to express your body, especially if you have Gemini in your chart, you may have quite strong insecurities with your body. But I really feel like, especially with intimate details, if you have boobs, this person's going to love your boobs. I'm getting like nips. Um, I'm, like, I'm feeling like tattoos around the decolletage, decolletage, the um, the collarbones. And I feel like this is you or your person having a tattoo around that area. Your person might actually be a tattoo artist as well. I'm picking up on the person having tattoos. I feel as if this person is also very patient. And when it comes to sex, they're going to do things really slowly. And it's going to be, um, it might be like a couple of months before you end up being physical but I definitely feel like you're going to learn to get closer to this person. I feel like it's a slow burn when it comes to the connection at the start, which is good because if you ever feel guilty for like, oh, I want to take things slow, don't ever feel guilty for doing that, especially because you are going to be physical with somebody. You want to make sure that you feel comfortable. But I'm getting a lot of things around the chest area. So you're going to love this person's chest and their shoulders, especially. They might have quite muscly shoulders. Um, and I see you having um, something just around the chest area. So even if you're a dude, um, if you're a guy, then your chest area just it might be it might be quite a sensitive area. You might like somebody like rubbing the chest area or touching that area or um, stroking that area or something like that. But I feel like this person has a very significant mole somewhere um, that you notice when you first meet them. So it could be at the, I feel around either if they have boobs, cleavage, maybe between the cleave, <laughs> between their cleavage, um, or if they're a guy that's going to be like at the top of the chest or something like that. This person who you're going to me is going to be somebody who it's something to do with their chest you're going to look at their chest you want to notice something um their eyes i feel are going to be very blue as well i'm picking up very blue eyes so when they're like having sex with you eye contact is going to be something that's really 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 like they love eye contact so if you're not very good with eye contact that is totally fine that's something i feel like you're both going to learn and this is just part of the intimacy you know if you do struggle with eye contact that can be a part of you uh, struggling to do intimacy and be intimate with yourself and be intimate with another person so don't ever feel afraid of that so the last card we have here is find a way to forgive live your purpose and say yes expand through the extremes trust life you guys are basically learning to take one step at a time there's nothing you need to do to manifest this person other than work on being your best self and working on trusting yourself and your body and i feeling like doing open um, hip opening exercises uh, whether you be a man or a woman will be so good for you just to help you um, bring in that energy because I feel like a lot of you guys struggle to receive so actually opening your legs and um, I mean in a sexual way too <laughs> but opening the hips will be so good for you um, that will help you to create some space there and it will kind of like show your body that it's safe for you to receive and it's safe for you to be open because it's kind of like when you have your back up straight if you're hunched over a lot it can show your body that you're not um you don't want to be open you know you're possibly scared of being open which is totally fine but this i feel it will help you just to connect to yourself and um bring in some beautiful energies so that is your reading i really hope you enjoyed it apologies for the audio again but i hope it was okay have a great day rates and crystals show up below as usual and i'll speak to you soon much love bye